Good morning. Down in the basement of church today, getting ready to make lots of pizzas, getting all set up for today. Uh, thank you all for supporting. And we got uh, 400 to make today. So lots of pizza to make. Gonna have uh, kids coming in to help soon. And hopefully we'll have them done by 1230. So then uh, you all can start picking them up. Today for our devotion, we're looking at John chapter 18, and it's uh, John's account of, of Jesus' arrest. And here, uh, Jesus finishes praying, and then he sees Judas and his men coming to arrest him. As they approach, Jesus asks, who is it you are looking for? They say, Jesus of Nazareth. As Jesus says, I am he, the power of his word knocks all these men to the ground. All fall to the ground. Once again, Jesus asks, who is it you are looking for? They say, Jesus of Nazareth, and Jesus replies, I am he. This time, not knocking them down to the ground. All right, so why, why does Jesus do it? Why, does, why is this here? It seems kind of random, insignificant, that Jesus would, would do this. But really, it shows a, a great point. It gives us great comfort. Jesus was making a point to these men that were coming to arrest him. They were making the point to his disciples, making the point to us that he was only being arrested willingly. Jesus was the one who was truly in control of this situation. And if he wanted to put an end to this, he certainly could. But he didn't want to put an end to it. No, he wanted to go through with the arrest. And this was all part of his plan. Jesus was in control. He knew what he needed to do. He needed to suffer and die. But there was a greater plan. And so here in this, we see the great love of Jesus that he didn't have to do this and yet did. What great love he has for you and I. We see that Jesus is always in control, even when it doesn't look like it in our lives. Over the next few days, the disciples would have been wondering this, I'm sure, as they saw Jesus crucified. And on that Saturday, waiting for Jesus to rise and thinking he was dead for good. Jesus was in control the whole time, even though it didn't look like it to the disciples. Maybe we feel that in our lives too sometimes, right? That we say Jesus is in control, but it often doesn't look like it. Jesus is in control, always guiding and always doing so for the good of your plan and for the good of his kingdom. Jesus carried through with his plan of salvation because he was willing to do it because of his great love for you and for me. Let's always remember that in our lives. No matter if it's good, going well, or through the troubles, Jesus is always in control. And that is a good thing because he's guiding us to a place where he can live with us forever. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for your, your love and your control, for setting aside your power for us. And Lord, we now we look to you and we trust you in our lives to uh, know that you are in control and to Take comfort in that each and every day of our lives. We ask that you help us to do this. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Once again, pizzas can be picked up at 1230. God's blessings on your day.